Let's talk about the consequences of high estrogen in men. Number one, it increases your risk of a stroke. Why? Because excess estrogen increases your risk of getting blood clots. Now, estrogen, specifically estradiol, typically is at higher levels when someone has a heart attack and when men have atherosclerosis. So too much estrogen is very dangerous to your cardiovascular system. Also, when you have estrogen dominance, your prostate could start to enlarge. So estrogen is an anabolic hormone. It grows things. So the next question is, why are men becoming estrogen dominant? Well, it could be the soy products they're consuming because soy potentially can increase estrogen. And I'm not talking about the organic tofu or the organic miso soup or organic fermented soy products like NATO. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about conventional soy oil, soy protein isolates, and the soy products that you would see in a lot of the vegetarian foods. Now, it also could come from something called endocrine disruptors. So there are these things in the environment like pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, and fungicides that have the effect of mimicking estrogen. So Endocrine disruptors are also called estrogen disruptors. So the more that you have in the body, the more estrogen effects you're going to have in the body. Now, also, if you're consuming a lot of commercial dairy, this could potentially increase your estrogen levels. Now, while these definitely will increase estrogen, there's something that creates a bigger effect in your body. And that would be this, the conversion of testosterone to estrogen by this one enzyme called aromatase. If you have too much of this enzyme, that could be your number one source of estrogen because it's just converting your testosterone to estrogen. So as your testosterone goes down, you lose your get up and go, you lose your lean body mass, and you start getting breast tissue, a large prostate, and uh, increasing your risk for all sorts of other problems. So now the question is, where is this enzyme coming from? Well, can you take a wild guess? Your belly fat. Having more fat in the midsection increases this enzyme. So what do you do? Now you could take an aromatase inhibitor to stop this process, okay? And there's some natural ones like DIM, which is a concentrated form of cruciferous vegetables. So that would be the other thing. Cruciferous vegetables typically are a natural source for aromatase inhibitors like kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower. Also, stinging nettle root is a natural herb that is an aromatase inhibitor. It's also really good for inflammation. But the other thing you need to do to get rid of this is simply reduce your overall insulin. Insulin is causing this right here. Now, how do you do that? If you're new to my channel, what you need to do is you need to do something called the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting. And I put the most important video right here to get started. Check it out.